I have so much things to do <laughs> because of this. The mythical Pokemon Meloetta. The mythical Pokemon Meloetta is a gift to you. Meloetta's song and dance will make your battle spectacular. <laughs> hey, what a minute, thing and child. Welcome back to Pokemon White Version. Last time. Oh, this is really fun. <laughs> Last time we had some rather fun things happening. Uh, uh, it was pretty much, pretty much a lot of, we had a lot of dragonic trials, pretty much going through the open list of Shindy Gym and gets us taunted us, saying that we're, that's impossible for us to get the, the legendary Pokemon Zekron. So, but today we're gonna do something entirely different, related to legendary Pokemon. <laughs> and also that Rage Candy bar is also gonna be fucking useful, <laughs> very useful. So pretty much we're gonna do some backtracking, also regarding with that Meload as well. <laughs> Now, first thing first, I actually do want to buy a quick ball for what I want to do for the uh, Rage Candy Bars. And also want to grab that Smeargle, which we uh, should get. And also that Tornadoes. I have so much things I need to organize right now. I um, need to pause a three whole Pokemon. I just put these three in because they're not really needed right now. Put you, of course, in because why the frick? Uh, let's put this, put you in there. Because of Mellow Weather, and we already can do this event, I also need to grab my flying Pokemon, which is Restaurant. You in there, need you. Need you. I thought I had everything, but no, of course not. Why did I grab my Galvantula? I don't need that. Okay. Uh, that should be good. This should be good. But I want to start out with. with Tornadus. Reasons will be seen later. <laughs> Alright, uh, Restaurant. First we're going City, so we're going pretty much in going in, uh, in order to how we we're traveling, so we started with Chris, with uh, the Meloetta one, that's pretty much what we need to do. Meloetta has a rather important event. Let's see, uh, I think it's this one right here. Yes, it is. We go in this one, and then here. The scent you brought me reminded me of a long ago melody from the fringes of my Sophia sepia tone memories. It was a song my mother loved. It makes me feel so nostalgic. The scent he was talking about was apparently his Meloetta scent. Gross. Would you like to hear the mel melody? Sure. Meloetta remembered the relic song it had forgotten. Meloetta is trying to learn relic song, but Meloetta can learn more than four moves. Lead a move to make room for relic song. told me if a Pokemon played a melody and danced so lightly that it filled people's hearts with joy. 
Then Sour darkened the entire world and the Pokemon lost Melody. Also, at that time, some red shoes were lost somewhere. When you came through the door, I remembered the melody, and the Pokemon had forgotten how to dance began to step lightly once more. You are an inspiration, you are a mysterious child. Meloetta is actually a rather fun Pokemon, actually. It's a rather trollish Pokemon to be, to be, to be precise. We'd actually shot with Meloetta, actually, because I forgot I need to buy it. <laughs> To the uh, desert resort deck, so I'm going to battle right there. <laughs> Why am I not kind of a single Pokemon? I don't have a repel up. <laughs> there, there, okay, that's also fine, that's fine. We have more than two Pokemon, please. <laughs> You do only have one, okay. So, Meloetta, a normal psychic type Pokemon. That's really a unique typing you got there, buddy. <laughs> a really gorgeous Pokemon as well. Meloetta is a big troll. It's supposed to be tricking dark and. Uh, dark and. Uh, Dark and, and um, psychic attacks to do rather almost next to nothing. <laughs> Pretty much, it can be a mixed attacker or a rather good physical attacker. With uh, in its this form right by now, where it is right now, the Arya form is much more of a special attacker, but it's a bit slow, but with great special defense. So that's why taking good hits from getting psychic or actually sensory or side shock, not really not side shock actually can be taking good hits when you switch in. How switch in, what I mean? With Relic Song. Relic Song is a move, uh, is a base sunny fight power, 100% accurate, uh, special normal type move, which has a 10% chance of moving to sleep, and will also change this to the this form to the pure red form, which causes uh, it to become a bit, becomes a physical attacker and a normal fighting type. Because it means much more, uh, uh, much more speedier, and also has base and it's and becomes a physical attacker instead of a special attacker. So you can use a mixed move set actually. That's really good. So that's really what the, the deal with Meloetta, which is like a really trollish Pokemon for that. Now for Smeargle, what do we have in your hands actually? Let's take a run now. The Silk Scarf. Oh, yeah, that's what you want. With that. That's your item. I have a quick bunker. I want a quick bunker. For what we're going to do next. <laughs> this. These statues right here. They're actually having a little special purpose. Let's save right in front of one of these because you only have two chances in total. Give the Rage Candy Bar to the Pokemon Statue? The ancient Pokemon Statue responded to the Rage Candy Bar. The Pokemon was a sleeping Darmanitan. The awakened Darmanitan attacked. A wild Darmanitan appeared. Hey, so what just happened actually, you probably wondering. What's so special about this specific Darmanitan? A lot, actually. This Darmanitan has its hidden ability, Zen Mode. What does Zen Mode, you may ask? This will take a while. 
the lad needs to come short anyway. One in each speed, uh, which is below uh, 50%, it, it's right there, it becomes in its Zen mode form. Zen mode will uh, becomes a fire psychic type like Victini, however, it's a bit difficult to do this. God damn it, I wanted to use a little football, but I guess I'm gonna. I guess I'll use it on that sh that what uh, in that event with that uh, mysterious storm. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> and the first encounter just being a little a bit weird. Dominatan, the blazing Pokemon. When weakened in Bell, it transforms into a stone statue. Then it sharpens its mind and fights on mental. That's why it is a. Z that's why Zen mode. That's actually one thing that really sucks about Dominatan. It's supposed to be a speedy f uh, physical attacker, but it becomes a special attacker here, but it also becomes slow as well. But it becomes a uh, good, much more of a special wall, so pretty much reverse, uh, refer reverse metal, that's a pretty much like that. That's one of the things that really just kind of sucked with the mana tank. However, I do know in Generation 8, uh, with uh, <laughs> Galarian Darmanitan, I actually gained a good, uh, gained actually, uh, actually gain a good buff actually. Galarian Dimanitan Zen mode becomes much speedier and its attack increases actually, so it becomes an even stronger physical attack. The Galarian Dimanitan is really powerful actually. And also it becomes an ice fire type as well. <laughs> that's, that's one of the coolest things in the entire game, no pun intended. So, um, the storm is located north of Mistralton City, which we heard last time about that. That there are some mysterious kinds of storm that came out of nowhere or something like that. Uh, let's see, I do want to switch into Tornadoes because of this. And if you can see that the storm is about to come in, it's a lightning storm. If this was Pokemon Black, it would have been simply a simple hurricane. Where strong winds also came in. My my, that Pokemon has come again too? Now now, don't you go heading into the tall grass, that Pokemon might be too much for you. We'll catch Colts standing around talking in this wind and rain. It's not much, but can't stay in my home a spell. And a young and like yourself will catch cold if you get soaked in that by the cold rain. Sit right there and have some soup, why don't you? That's nice, a young and like you shouldn't be so Shouldn't be shy. In a Univan region, you see, there is a Pokemon called Thunderous that creates thunderstorms. That's what we have right now. It flies around the region and lets uh, sets loose wild winds and crashing lightning. Have some soup now, dear. It'll warm you up. Mm. Soup jam filled with healthy vegetables. It's delicious. The heavy rain is ruining the crops that I've worked so hard to raise. That's a troublesome Pokemon. I thought even I would be trying to catch it, but it flies around so fast that even when I thought I, I, I found it, it just flew away. In one day, it can make a lap around the entire universe region. In the mornings, it's in the south, and in the evenings, it's in the north. It shows up here in the evenings. Now, if you actually want to uh, learn a bit about a, a little bit of shiny traffic, before you actually go towards the um, the door, go outside the door, save a little bit. Crack, crack, crack. Real what a storm! Apparently, it's that Pokemon's doing. 
Of course, I'm not exactly one to do um, that kind of stuff if you want to show you. Pretty much need to, before you save, go to the Pokedex and uh, pretty much um, after you uh, after you see the cutscene, save in front of the door. Then go to the Pokemon Pokedex because you have already Thunderous registered. Then go to uh, forms and see if you have shiny scene 1. If that's how it is, then you have seen its shiny form and will then always be shiny when you encounter in the battle. Pretty much this, this scene will show off uh, exactly what kind of thing it uh, it's already has, it's th things already... Uh, already, de already, uh, already generated and stuff, like its shininess. One thing I really sucks in Pokemon Black, however, <laughs> this cutscene you saw just with Sunrus was messed up. They failed. To, they forgot to add in Tornadus Sky instead of Thunderous, So when you were fighting against against um, uh, against uh, Thunderous, it would have been. Uh, Uh, fight against Thunderbirds, it would have been like that. Now, what do you mean with going into the uh, being in the south? Like she said, she would be uh, around this kind of area, pretty much in the circle around um, entry lane. And it serves like a roaming Pokemon as well. I don't trust being in this route actually. Let's go to Nimbasa City because that's actually is connected to two whole locations. So Nimbasa City it is actually. So Nimbasa City is the best location to hunt from the tornadoes and thunderous. When you're in the mornings, well in uh, in the evenings it's best to go uh, no, uh, north. So it, this is actually a bit of trouble, but it's fun. And you can see where it is. It's once again not one, one of those areas where you need to check. It's located right. You can need to check via here. That's one thing. Dimbas City, Sunny, Route 5, Sunny, Driftville City, Sunny. Driftville has the club developed as a port of freight and fishing for fishery. The market is loaded with pro products from all over the, po all the world. City's orange roofs enhance. It's not even evening, it's not there. Oh, uh, because 15,000. Route 18, a very unusual thunderstorm is happening. So that's how it is. When you are going outside, you can see already the thing. So, like this. So it says Route 18 still, right? Route 18, okay. But if I'm going here, it should not be going like that. I, mean, I bet. Route 18 is this location. So if I'm going right here... Route 18, a very unusual storm. So once again, it's in Route 18. This is Route 16. Route 18, what the hell? Wait a minute. Is that... Okay, let me just check the map real quick because I don't remember exactly Route 18 because I have a bad feeling about where Route 18 is. You sh uh, no, no, that's a Paul Park, not the not the town map. Town map right here. Okay, Route 18. It's oh, is it? Oh no, don't tell me it's Route 14, Route 16. 
what, 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 what is Route 18? It's in an area that I can't go. Actually, I can go there, but it will be take such a freaking long time. Why the fuck is it in Route 18? Why the hell is it close to the P2 laboratory? I never saw Thunder was every day. That's always in the inner circle, but no, it's not. I have to go all the way to Route 18 for this Pokemon? That's not fun. Uh, there's too many Pokemon trainers here, and I don't want to do that. So I think I it, it will always switch when it's I don't know. So it's it's so it says that it always can make a lap around. Uh, around the entire universe. I don't want to go all the way to Route 18. There's too many Pokemon trainers there, and I I can you see fruit with fresh red, but then I ex would miss out on experience. Uh, let's see, Sun Route 18, Route 3, a very unusual thunderstorm. Okay, yeah, it does switch. Just switch areas. Uh, Nimbaza City, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Come on, Thunderous. Route 18, an area that I don't want to go yet. I want to go there in the post game. <laughs> okay, so at least. Okay, I guess I forgot about that. Uh, I think it's when it's in that very same area, it will keep switching back and forth from that, so... So let me just... So I need to go to Strychen City for this? So it will stay in that area before it then moves to another area within several hours, I guess. I believe, since it's always going to Route 18 and Route 3, so... Uh, so let's look at that's Route 3, so right here. Okay, it's not there right now. Oh, wait, what? Yay! It's here! <laughs> and here's the thunderstorm again. So let's see it's on the rest. Thunderous appeared! Thunderous! Yeah! I uh, guess I should make, treat the, make mention of the uh, elephant in the room. Main thing that people don't like about this, uh, gener about this, about these, um, of this group of legendary Pokemon, they look similar in this form. Very similar. In fact, the sprites are technically the same. Let's start with Thunderous, because that's the one we're facing. <clears throat> Thunderous is an electric flying type Pokemon with uh, Frank's Schwartz ability. That's a really good, really good ability to add. Uh -huh. um, Thunderous is pretty much a Pokemon that we just really like. The electric flying type um, is pretty much always a good thing to have on, on, on a legendary Pokemon like Thunder. On a, even on a legendary Pokemon at all. Like, the electric flying type is just a good type thing, and only three Pokemon has them right now. 
The only the other Pokemon that, that it does have this in this entire game that you also can get that you also can get sucks, which is the Morgan, so this is the better option. Thunderous is pretty much a really good special attacker, it's also pretty speedy, decent physical attack, just a good just good mix, but the special attack is for course its highest stats. And also like I said, it's pretty it's also pretty speedy as well, so it's light fast. Great special attacking uh, electric type attacks, great a great great there's a lot of good, good stuff to find it. It's you have a good things to go to go with. With a bat with the only downside is that it's flying type move pool sucks. Like the only flying type moves it can learn are fly and sky drop. That's literally the only downside this Pokemon has right now. As for the Pokemon I'm using, Tornadus is a is the world's per first pure flying type Pokemon. About time you got here, buddy, because all the other flying type always had dual typings. Just like to uh, just like Tony, uh, like Tonus, its stats are exactly is actually in generally the same. Just like uh, like so Viper and Zangoose, its stats are exactly the same. So, like I said, the Tonus applies to to Tornadus. The only difference about Tornadus here is that it actually does have good uh, good move pool as well. Massive flood, dark pulse, also good hurricane air smash as well. So. <laughs> What uh, Thunderous was lacking it came into um, play in Tornadus, while in with Tornadus uh, lack with the great of good defense and good defense typing comes with Thunderous. So choose between the two, good typing or a better move pool. New level will knock you out, but it will cause you a lot of damage. <laughs> Now we got that done, let's get started with the big uh, big thing about how you should play with a uh, roaming Pokemon. And I'm not using the Master Ball in this. This is the only roaming Pokemon in this entire game. And you'll see if it also turns a little darker because... What the frick is it? Yep, there it is. No thank you, Aldino. There we go, there's the noise again. Let's start catching it the, the, the way a man does it. I'm using Mean Look in order to stun this Pokemon. Make sure that it will not be able to run away. So I'll go... So the way to turn trying to run away and I'm going to use Spore to put it to sleep. I'm not exactly one of those people who actually hit uh, Nagon this generation about having Pokemon look very similar because we have already three already. In I was born in I was grown in a generation which has that thing, literally. Uh, so if I nice level forty, right? It's level forty, so it should have agility, extra sensory, air cutting, revenge. So that should be. It's so it will not have like a not have will not have growing or something like that. I'm not exactly one of those Pokemon because we have Latios and Latias who look very similar and also the Lake Guardians. They have done this twice already. Twice. And then people are racking on this po these Pokemon looking very similar and then they're like, Oh, they're running out of information. To they're running out of ideas. They're not running out of ideas. Triplets are... Twins and triplets are a thing. So... Oh, he block. Oh, I'm looking at Tornadus. <laughs> Level 40, Agility, Heal Block, Shockwave, and Revenge, yeah. Go back to sleep, Tundras. <laughs> I'm not just not one of those people who look very similar, like incredibly similar to each. I'm not one of those people. I'm not going like, oh, it's a really good deviant art wheat color, and then that's lazy and that stuff. I'm not one of those people. I like Thunderwiz and Tornadoes and stuff. 
who makes an autonomous design. I like them actually. It's actually one of my favorite in a group because why haven't they worry about a humanized Pokemon while well, we have some of those already? Like like Machamp and people do like Machamp and also Hitmonlee and stuff like that. Hitmonchan, Hitmonchan, blah blah blah. We have only have like humanoid Pokemon and I'm not one of those people who just just on those. Especially since we have once again, like I said, similar Pokemon. Ladios Lagas. Only difference is, is color, size, eye color, and color itself. Wing, uh, yeah, like uh, size, colors on its eyes and everything, and different horns and rings. The League Guardians only difference are their heads. Well, here we just have different color tail, uh, how many horns they have, and mustache and their hair. That's literally the only difference about them, so I'm not exactly one of those people who will rack will rack them so I'm nervous about that. I refuse to do that. I'm not I am no position to complain about that. I mean, if we have to choose between elemental monkeys, which one of them is actually the least favorite Pokemon of all in the entire world, to a couple of genies that that can that which can summon the power of na of natural disaster. Oh, I forgot about agility. I mean, yeah. it can cause natural disasters and also create also a bundles of things. Like a lot of it's supposed to be that they represent the forces of nature or something like that. The destructive forces in nature, in fact. So, who are we to say that these are the cool Daniels? <laughs> I prefer the lay of these these guys actually <laughs> over the over the elemental monkeys. And I will say that with loud and proud. <laughs> as long as Smeargle doesn't go down, I can keep going. <laughs> this will pretty much go to like a typical legendary bell for me. Also, should we make mention that it's necessarily to keep both to, to have both a Tornadus and a Tornadus here? Because I did not bring Tornadus just for this bio, to be, to be perfectly precise. I have another reason, which is in the po which is located in the post game, so. And I do need Tornadus for that as well, so. One thing, my favorite thing about uh, using uh, Tanoris, actually, I like using the um, thanks to boosted nasty plot on it, and have Dark Pulse and Sludge Bomb as well, and Thunderbolt as well. Because once again, its flying type move pool sucks. Okay, and that's and that's just peachy. Hey, say hello to your butter once again. <laughs> Now, my, my Tornadus actually does not have, um, have Prankster, it has Define for its ability. This one actually is coming from a different kind of game where you get its hidden ability. Alright, Tornadus is going to go move, I need to heal the Pokemon, and we stock. So where is the thing? There's you, and there's you. Do 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 And put this right in here. 
Okay, so that will charge up while I'm recording. Okay, so once again, let's locate Thunderous for this. Okay, Thunderous is not here. It's dark, it's getting darker, so that means Thunderous is right here. Not the right Pokemon. Go away, Pita. <laughs> You're not a genie that, that controls the forces of lightning. I mean, you're not the one of those. Are you still running out? Yeah, that's it. That's where you are. There you are, buddy. <laughs> you're not asleep as well, which sucks. <laughs> Well, because you had to use your uh, moves in order to kill Anyways, me looking you! Now, those uh, agilities of yours are now completely gone. I had to open my, my big fat mouth. Go to sleep, buddy. <laughs> also, this is actually one of the legendary Pokemon actually has genders. It has a 100% chance of becoming male, so they are susceptible to cute charm and attract as well, so... Ah. Still asleep. <laughs> well, I would have been out speeding Thunderous, but of course, he was that agility of his. That means activate its priority. He's a priority ability. <laughs> the strength ability, so that gives status boost is a sweet priority. Blech. Back to sleep, buddy. Oh, uh, another shock wave, so I'm going there. Cannot take two hits of those. And then again, he's a revived uh, Smeargle for us. Yes. Nice job, Reshiram. <laughs> Just try the quick ball just real quick because I'm just stupid. <laughs> it's darker. Let's try the quick ball just real quick because I have it. And I need to use and I can't use it while doing all that, but of course it's kind of sleep that would just suck to me. Let's try the quick ball just for the just for the sake of just because of the sake of it. I've got his one HP and oh, that's sleep. <laughs> And that I'm going to heal up my Pokemon because it's just my one quick ball. Bro, oh, those things doesn't work when they're supposed to on legendary Pokemon. Blech. Should have known better than doing that. <laughs> I 
really, really weeks. And I have to do that. Do, 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 do. You're not here. You're here. So it's just constantly right 18 or here. I know. I don't have time to play with you, Blitz, so. You may be an electric type, but you're not a flying type. One step, and I encounter yet another legend, another Pokemon. God damn it. Oh wait, it's not running anymore. Ah, that Blitz will substitute it for Tonnerus. Ugh. Here, I have a feeling that it just moved on to the next area. I think it just did. Yeah, I'm very certain it just did. Let me just check the billboard because that means, because you can check via that, and there's none of them here. <laughs> Great. So there you know, there you know, which, which set of area do I need to go? Because it gets stretched into two routes before I go on. Route 8, it's still there, but it just kept going to Route 18 when I switched route. That's stupid. So that's general area, so it just didn't want to show off. Come on, Thunderous. Make this dark. There you are. I see it. Once again, one step, another Pokemon appeared. Catch rats. If we're gonna say, you just repel, Smiggle's level 50, Thunderous is level 40, it would not work. Still here. Uh. How difficult is to find a 1.5 meter genie that just that are bigger than all the Pokemon here combined? <laughs> Bigger than a than a, a dove and a baby baby zebra and a rat. There you are. Should not be this difficult just to find you, especially not in this area. I mean, look here. Yeah. For you, you're using agility again. <laughs> it is a little chilly. <laughs>
Oh, was it still asleep? Shockwave again. It's going to use another shockwave, isn't it? Oh no, it's. Revenge! Abuse revenge! Revenge has a minus as. Yeah, abuse revenge, I don't use revenge. Revenge. Attack inflicts uh, is, is here in the same turn because it, because it will just has a minus priority then. And because of that, he put, let me, allows me to put him to sleep. That's nice. We do have, yeah, because it, only if attacking moves it has to now is prevent a shockwave, and the other ones are heal block and agility. Another heal block, here it comes. Brenda, I'm healing. Guess I got another one on me. On me. Thank you for putting allow me to put you to sleep again, Thomas. Thunderous. Thunderous, the Bolt Strike Pokemon. The spikes on its tail discharge immense bolts of lightning. It flies around the Unified region, firing off bolts of lightning. I love sometimes when a legendary Pokemon takes it, it's being a little bit of a pain to catch. As for Tornadus' Pokedex entry, it's... Tornadus, the Cyclone Pokemon. Tornadus expels massive energy from its tails, causing severe storms. Its power is great enough to blow away... to blow houses away. Yep, that's indeed some great power you have there, Tornadus and Tornadus. Looking exactly similar, but we have already an entire group of already two groups of legendary Pokemon who are looking exactly similar. Twins or quad or triplets. I'm not exactly one of those people who will not be uh, who not be ragging on those kinds of Pokemon because it exists. It exists. Especially considering if you look at if you were having the same breed like the same black cat, there's always some always. There of course always if you if you see have a black cat uh, next to each other, there's always some part of them that's always a little bit of different. It's it's that's also, it exists in, in the real world as well. It's re totally realistic. So why not having this legend this group of legendary Pokemon that I have the same concept when you see them together like this? Small differences. I also like that Tonnus has uh, one horn when it comes second in the Pokedex. But Tornadus has two horns and becomes first in the Pokedex. One of my favorite things in that. I find that really, really just weird. <laughs> I find that a weird thing about them, but it's actually, but it, like I said, it makes sense. It really, it's realistic. It, it, it exists. And I'm not going to be ragging on that stuff like that. Okay, two Zoroks right there, so I need to see which one is mine. That's you. And of course, this is you. See you guys next time for when we are going to continue onwards and 
head ourselves to the Pokemon League and maybe find that last member of the search of justice who is supposed to be hiding in the in the victory roads. See you guys then.